Well, it's fall, y'all. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not, that's not it. That's just not it. That's never gonna work. So today I wanna go ahead and talk about a fall makeup haul. I'm very excited about this video. There's been a lot of really good fall makeup products coming out recently and yeah i'm excited to share with you what i picked up for me i know it's you know times are weird right now i mean times are so weird and for me during this pandemic makeup has always kind of been one of those things it's just like it's been so therapeutic for me so i know a lot of people out there are the same as well so that's where this video is pretty much coming from and also ulta and sephora had this weird little 21 days of beauty sale but yeah i picked up a lot of things at ulta a lot of things at sephora and then just a couple of little pieces throughout that aren't really from either but just all the labor day sales and things like that that have really been the moving force into fall like okay it's officially here i live in like i said in oklahoma it's still like 80 degrees here so it's like not really fall but it's definitely cooling down a lot more and it's it's been really really lovely weather okay so i have one two three four about 20 different products to talk to you about it's actually 19 but i like 20 so <laughs> i'm just gonna say i have 20 and you're not gonna remember at the end of this anyway so quit judging me i'm gonna start with some things that i picked up like i said from both ulta and sephora the first ones are gonna be from ulta and i've been looking for some hair care products recently i don't really i mean i don't really do my hair very often like i pretty much just throw it in a weird looking bun and call it a day but as you can tell i do have naturally really curly hair i'm half black so my roots are very very tight and curly roots that kind of just get all over the place if i don't tame them back with some kind of hair gel and my favorite like edge styling gel that i've been using recently has been the eco i think what is it called eco styler eco oh god eco something but it's just like this really thick clear gel that i just use with a really fine um bristle brush to just slick them back and that's pretty much how i wear my hair just messy but then i still want it to look somewhat professional in this region going on up in here i've been looking for good alternatives for that because it works decently well but it doesn't really work as well whenever my hair is straight and i just want to like tame my edges a little bit so i've just been like playing around looking for different things i tried this joyco uh joy gel firm gel it's a number eight hold and yeah this is just a simple little styling gel i thought it was going to be a really thick hold and turns out it, it doesn't beat the eco. I mean, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. It doesn't beat the eco styling gel. So it's a good one that will work, but once it runs out, I'm probably not gonna get another one. It's a little bit thinner of a consistency than the eco gel. The eco gel is like a really, really thick one. And this one is just kind of watery in my opinion. I have tried Joyco before in the past and I really, really like their products. Number one, because it's my name. Number two, because it just has like, a, the scent is perfect and like usually it holds really well. I had a hairspray from them that I used for years that I absolutely love. And yeah, I just figured I'd try their styling gel because I never have before. But I picked that up in Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. I don't think that one was actually on sale, but it was just around the same time that I placed the order. So it's a fall haul. So that's one thing that I tried from them. Another thing that I tried from them was this Joyco, um, dream blowout thermal protection cream so i usually whenever i'm straightening my hair i'll blow dry it with the revlon let me just i'll put a picture somewhere in here probably it's the revlon multi styler something along those lines right close enough and i like having something in my hair i usually just use like a hair oil to style it with and protect from heat i kind of felt like my hair was just getting a little bit damaged and i wanted something a little bit thicker than an oil like a cream so far i've been really enjoying the joyco dream blowout cream but i've only used it like a couple of times like two or three times i don't straighten my hair very often and when i do i try keeping it as straight as possible for as long as possible without actually doing washes in between i've only had the chance to use it like two or three times since i bought it i've been really enjoying it no complaints here i think it's a good product to try it was pretty affordable again that one wasn't on sale 
Um, there was a buy one get one 50% off, so I just got two Joyco products so I can actually get my 50% off because that's how math works. I've been really loving that. Maybe I'll update you later in a hair care tutorial situation. I don't know. I don't really talk about my hair just because not very many people have hair that looks like mine that I know that care about it. So I don't know if enough of you guys think it's important. If you know two out of the 20 people that watch my channel think it's important, then I'll try it, I guess. But yeah, just let me know down below, I guess. Comment if you'd like to see a hair video. Next, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my last Yes, last hair care product that I picked up. And this one I actually got from Target. I think it was on sale for, I mean, it wasn't a big sale because it's not like an expensive product, but it is this Love Beauty and Planet. Yes, Love Beauty and Planet. I don't make sure, like, who are you? <laughs> Love Beauty and Planet Oil Observing Refreshing Dry Shampoo. So this one is the Miri Miri Butter and Rose scent. And it's, I really have been looking for a good dry shampoo. Like I said, my hair, I mean, you can already see, my hair is naturally curly. So I really want something that's not gonna actually like dry it out too much, but, but I still need it to be a dry shampoo. And this one just provides my hair with so much moisture. It feels really good and it doesn't completely strip my hair, but my hair feels clean after using it. That's by far my favorite dry shampoo that I've tried. So yeah, I really love, I really love everything. <laughs> but I really love this dry shampoo. This, again, like I said, is my favorite dry shampoo that I've tried so far. I've tried the Living Proof shampoo, and that one's just like too dry for me. I've only tried a few dry shampoos. This one is my favorite, and it's really affordable. I want to say it was like $4. It wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. And it just leaves my hair feeling nice and clean when my hair is straight. I don't use it on curly hair, and it doesn't make my hair go back to curly if that makes sense. I know most dry shampoos say there's like no water in it but the ingredients in them sometimes have the effect that water has on my hair that it turns it from straight to curly and it kind of just defeats the purpose so it's like well I would have just washed my hair and straightened it again if I wanted to do that but yeah it saves a lot of time it extends the life of my hair for you know at least a couple of days I don't know if it's like dramatic or anything but definitely extends it for like three days or so so that's pretty good in my opinion considering I usually only wear my hair straight for about a week uh probably like nine days max I really really like it and I would definitely recommend trying next I'm going to talk about an Instagram purchase I didn't actually purchase this through Instagram, I purchased this through Ulta again. This was not in their 21 Days of Beauty, but it was, I want to say on sale. I think it was. I don't know. It was something I picked up from Ulta. It's the Coco Cloud Whip Shave Butter, and it's by the brand Truly. So the reason I say this was an Instagram purchase was because I feel like I've seen this all over Instagram. This is one of those things where it's just like, whipped cream in a jar pretty much. I don't know, it's so weird. But it does make my legs feel so nice and smooth. And if you know me, I hate shaving my legs. So I really need like some kind of encouragement to shave my legs, some reason to. And yeah, that, that one just provided a lot of extra moisture to my legs. And it's just made it more pleasant to shave, quite honestly. I really did enjoy it. Um, would I buy it again? Maybe? For the fall, I think it is really one of those things where I know my skin is really dry normally and that's just like one of those things I want to add to my routine. It's not like everything that I hoped it would be honestly. I mean, it does the job, it's a shaving cream and um, yeah, I like it. It's I, I mean, she, we, we cool, but it was kind of expensive and that's the only hesitation that I have on that. Next, moving more towards the face area, um, I picked up this Tatcha the Rice Wash cleanser so this is a soft cream cleanser it's meant for drier skin so if you have normal to dry skin a lot of cleansers can actually be too harsh on your skin so it's important to get a good one that you know will work for your skin type and won't dry you out too much but still has a good balance of actually cleansing your skin i have been using that for uh three weeks i'm gonna say and i've absolutely loved it it's it's been a really good product i'm glad i picked it up so Make sure your cleansers are working for you, not against you. And yeah, I really like it. I have no complaints about it. I feel like skincare is one of those things where it takes me a really long time before I actually recommend it to somebody because it can really mess up your skin. The next one I want to talk about is the 
First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hand, well it's not a hand cream, it's just a cream. So ultra repair cream. I've mostly been using it as a hand cream. This is like the little mini size, so it's just perfect for keeping in my purse or keeping in my desk. I use it a lot. My hands get so dry. I mean like, it's insane. I, I apply hand cream at least 10 times a day. I'm not even, like that's not an exaggeration. I, I literally apply hand cream 10 times a day. And yeah, I've been really liking it so far. It's pretty unscented. I mean, is anything really unscented when you think about it? Actually does a good job of keeping my hands hydrated. I feel like I have to use less of it than I normally do, so that's good, I guess. So moving right along in what I would normally do in my routine, I picked up this Pharmacy Daily Greens cute little mini oil-free gel moisturizer. And I've heard people raving about this and I haven't understood why until I got it. Um, I've used almost the whole thing at this point. Let's just see. There we go. Used almost the whole thing at this point. It's really good. I mean, it's just this tiny little thing. So it's like, of course you have, like, what do you mean? But um, I have really liked it. And I think I'm going to pick up the full size. It has been working wonders on my skin. I feel like my skin is a lot more hydrated than it used to be. And I have really liked it. I mean, that's all. That's enough for me to buy it. And next is foundations that I bought. Um, so the first foundation that I bought was actually during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and this is the Uoma Say What um, Wait, it's not weightless. Yeah, it says weightless. Weightless Soft Matte Foundation. Um, I bought mine in the shade, I think it's T2W. Does that sound right? I think, it, I think that's right. Anyway, it's in the shade Fair Lady, which is kind of weird that I'm a fair lady. I feel like I'm pretty medium, but that's just what the name is and it is a warm shade in the second shade, which I wanna say is T2W. From the couple of times that I've worn it, I think that it applies really nicely. I think that it mixes really nicely with a lot of liquid illuminators that I like using. I haven't noticed any uh, weird reaction with anything that I, when it's anything else that I use, which is something that's always really big. A lot of times like a primer won't work with, a found with certain foundations and vice versa. So yeah, this one has been pretty neutral. No bad comments, no good comments really, honestly. Next, the Coveted Rare Beauty Liquid Foundation. I have this one in the shade 180W. I think it's a little too, like, a little too light. Yeah, it's a good one though. Whenever you first apply it to the skin, it has a nice um, creamy satiny finish and then it kind of dries down a little bit to a, a, like a powder finish, which is really unusual. It definitely is one of the more unique foundations that I have. And a lot of foundations are kind of similar to the Uoma Beauty um, liquid foundation where it's just like you apply it as a liquid, it stays a liquid and it's like it's just a liquid. <laughs> but the Rare Beauty one, I really do like it. It blends really nicely. I feel like that's one of those foundations that a lot of foundations I have I actually have to blend it into the neck or else it looks like too unnatural. It's not that, that they have they don't have a good shade range, but it's just the fact that it doesn't look like a skin color. And I feel like the Rare Beauty one is just opaque enough that it looks like skin. Is that the am I using opaque the right way? Yeah, I think I think yeah, it has enough opa like the opacity is a little lower and it blends in so naturally with your skin. Like it looks like actual flesh. Um, I bought that at Sephora. I don't think it's available at Ulta. It's a really affordable foundation when it comes to high-end foundations. I wanna say it was like $29, which is pretty good for Sephora. Yeah, I've been really liking it. It's everything everybody says it is and yeah, it's good. Next, um, these are some things that I picked up on Honest Beauty's website. So Honest Beauty, I think I either I have an Honest Beauty review coming up soon or it's already up. And you would know that that is my favorite brand of all time. And they had a Labor Day sale at the beginning of September, which I picked up a lot of things from that. So the first one that I wanna talk about is this Honest Beauty Cream Foundation. I have it in the shade Linen, and this is what she looks like. So it's just like a, like a cream pan. It's a pretty thin pan, actually. It's like not very much product. Um, and then it comes with like a little sponge that I have yet to use, but it's there if you need it. I really, really like this foundation. It's a medium coverage foundation and it just, it applies beautifully to the skin. It's so fast. Um, that's the foundation that I reach for most often. It's most, it's like one of the most travel friendly foundations that I own. And yeah, it's just, it's a good one. She's high. I mean, I mess with her, that's for sure. So next, also from the Honest Beauty 
uh labor day sale there we go <laughs> i forget the word labor day sale okay so from their labor day sale i picked up their invisible aloof blurring powder and it's just like this very very finely milled powder i absolutely love it like it says it's an invisible loose blurring powder so you apply it to you know blemishes you apply it to pores you apply it to fine lines and it just gives you such a nice out of focus look i mean isn't that the goal you know honestly just to look like a little out of focus i mean isn't isn't this the goal like <laughs> don't you want to see me like this most of the time yeah so this is a beautiful beautiful powder i hate powders i've said this before but i do not like powders i'm not a powder person i don't powder most of the time and this is one of those products that really got me back into powders i mean i really really like the way it looks it fixes any bad makeup day honestly so i like it she's cute and i'm really glad i picked that one up i would highly recommend um, if you're looking for a good powder, a good affordable powder, that's that's a good one. Next, another powder that I have is from the brand Beauty Bakery, and it's called the Flower Powder. This is a setting powder, and it's in the tran it's a trans well. What am I saying? This is a translucent setting powder. I have it in the shade. Oh yeah, uh, it's a good one. I don't like it as much as the Honest Beauty one. Number one, because of the price difference. They're both really finely milled powders, so you really can't go wrong with either one. I will say though, this one is a lot less seen, I guess. It doesn't have as much of a white cast as the um, Honest Beauty one, but honestly, it's so minimal. So yeah, I, I would say that I genuinely like both of them. They're both really good, but if you had to pick one or the other, I would probably go with the Honest Beauty one. Next is another thing that I picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, and it is the Essence The Blush. And this one is in the shade 10. I want to say it's befitting. Yes, it is. Um, shade 10. It's just like this beautiful uh, rosy pink color. It has a little bit of a darker pink hue to it, and it just, I don't know, there's something about it. It just looks so beautiful for what it is. I mean, it just looks so simple and thin and it's just, it's really light. I like that it fits in my makeup bag perfectly. Some of these products are just like so freaking chunky that it's like, what's the point of having you honestly? But um, I really like that one. I want to say it was $2.99 at Ulta. It does a really, really good job of just being a blush. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a good one. It's a good shade. It's a good consistency. The formulation's perfect. It doesn't look too uh, chalky like some powder brush blushes tend to look. And it blends into the skin beautifully. I mean, it just gives you just a perfect flush very quickly and you'd really don't have to work with it too much. Next, I'm going to talk about the setting spray. So I got the Charlotte Tilbury, 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 I don't know, uh, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And I got it in the mini version. I get almost everything in the mini version if I haven't tried it before, just because, I mean, there's no reason to get the big version if you don't know if it's going to be good. And yeah, I really like it. It's, uh, I wouldn't say that I like it more than my Milani Make It Last, but I would say that it's just as good as the Milani Make It Last. And the Milani Make It Last, if you know, is like kind of my gold standard for everything. I kind of compare everything to that. Why did I just spray that on myself like mid-sentence? <laughs> Where am I? Um, anyway, so the Milani Make It Last is pretty much like my gold standard for it. And the Charlotte Tilbury like meets it right at the quality of it. But as you know, Charlotte Tilbury is an expensive, expensive brand. I picked that up at Sephora. Um, I want to say it was 15 or $14. So it was fairly pricey for what it is. Is that the ice machine? Are you kidding me? Alright, so anyway. Um, I still really like it. I will say though that the Charlotte Tilbury has a much finer mister than the Milani Make It Last mister. So if that's worth it to you, then definitely try the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I don't think the Charlotte Tilbury one beats the Milani one necessarily overall in terms of price and in terms of quality. So that's my thoughts on that. I will use it up. Obviously, it's not bad. It doesn't do anything like it uh, negative to my skin. It doesn't take away makeup or anything. So it does its job and it holds makeup really, really well. Um, so yeah, just going to use it up and enjoy it while I have it. Next, um, this is kind of an honorable mention because I didn't really purchase it. I kind of just got it in my BoxyCharm subscription. And this one came in the September. Was it September? I think it was, I think it came in the September box. 
It's fairly new to me, and this is the Hank and Henry Satin Matte Lipstick. It's this beautiful packaging, and what I really love about it is it has a button that you release uh, the lipstick at, at the bottom. I don't know how it doesn't fall out. It looks really glittery on the outside, but on the inside it's just like a simple, simple nude. I'm actually wearing it on my lips today, and that's pretty much what it looks like. There's no glitter to the actual formulation. It's just on the outside, just for decoration, which I think is so genius. I mean, like it just makes it so much more fun to apply. I don't know. And it kind of looks like a nice little like Christmassy gift situation. I don't know. I think this is perfect for Christmas. I think that the packaging of it is so fun. It's so fun. I got to set it down or else I'm just going to like, it's kind of like a pin click situation. So what a pin does for me is pretty much what that does for me. And yeah, I just, I don't know. It's so fun. I really like it. And it's a beautiful product. I mean, it wears fabulously on the lips. It doesn't really transfer as bad as most lipsticks like it do. Um, it is considered a matte lipstick, but it does feel kind of more satiny than matte. I wouldn't necessarily agree with it being a matte. Um, it definitely, definitely has some satiny qualities where, like I said, it transfers a little and um, it doesn't leave your lips feeling as tight as a matte would. So just be on the lookout for that. But it is a really good lipstick. Like, I really like it. <laughs> just like the packaging. Like, I've never been like so uh, like genuinely giddy over the packaging. But yeah, it's fabulous. We are in the home stretch. The last four products are all eyeshadow products. So the first one picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And it's this Juvia's Place Nomad palette. It has these beautiful to die for fall colors. I feel like these are just so wearable. And th these, this is such a fall palette. I mean, it just screams fall. And Juvia's Place is a really affordable brand. I wanna say this was $9 or something along those lines. I mean, it's, it's a really affordable brand and it's high quality stuff. The one thing I will say, it's not as pigmented as some more expensive eyeshadow palettes are, but it definitely builds up really nicely. So if you want high color, it, it can give you high color and it stays much, much longer than a lot of eyeshadow formulas. So Juvia's Place is a really good um, eyeshadow brand and I highly recommend picking up one or two of their eyeshadow palettes for the fall. Next, also I picked up during the 21 Days of Beauty is this KKW Beauty uh, Classic Eyeshadow Palette. I haven't bought anything from KKW Beauty before, um, but this was on sale and I figured, okay, it's half off, I'm gonna try it. It's just a beautiful nude palette. I really love a lot of these colors in here. Uh, I use a lot of pinks and nudes and mauves. So this was really just right up my alley and I just really wanted to try it. So that's why I picked it up. I will say though, I haven't been able to use it as much as I wanted to. I've used it maybe three times at most and every single time I use it, it's like nothing really uh, stands out to me in terms of quality goes. So definitely if this goes on sale again, I would recommend trying it out if you were interested in trying a KKW Beauty palette. The colors are exactly what they look like. Sometimes the colors can be a little off on certain eyeshadow qualities. Uh, eyeshadow qualities? What? Certain eyeshadow formulations. But this one, the colors are exactly what they look like. Yeah, I highly recommend picking this one up if it ever goes on sale again. The next one I want to talk about, also from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, is this Zoeva Spice of Life palette. So I've never tried anything from Zoeva either. Am I saying that right, Zoeva? Yeah, I think I am. This is their Spice of Life palette, and it's this one is so, so beautiful. I mean, it's has they have like these beautiful shimmery uh, shades that almost have like a duochrome, duochrome quality to them. So uh, depending on what way you look at them in the light, they look different. Yeah, I really, really like this brand. I mean, the eyeshadow quality is so, so good. You really have to barely apply any pressure to the, to the brush to just get like a good amount of pigment. It's so high quality pigment. And yeah, the shimmers are just fantastic. Like I don't have shimmers that look like that. This is supposed to be a spicy palette and yeah, it definitely is a spicy, spicy palette. Like it, it gives you some good looks and I think it's gonna be really great, especially around the holidays. That would be a good gifting eyeshadow palette if you're looking for some makeup gifts for some makeup lovers. My final, final product that I picked up during this fall haul video was this Natasha Denona Glam Palette. This one is a beautiful, cool tone neutral glam palette and as you can tell a lot of the shades just they look beautiful i mean they're perfectly shimmery natasha nona is one of those high-end brands that you can really trust the formula on so 
you know that you're getting what you pay for when it comes to a brand like this. And I've been really enjoying using it. I've been using it every chance I can get. I really like it. Um, the one thing that I don't like about these eyeshadows in, in particular is that they're, they come off darker than they look in the pan. So for example, uh, this shade I thought would never, this is called the crease shade. And I thought it would never be able to work that in my crease because I thought it would look too light. And I actually, when I applied it, it applied so, so dark. I mean, it, it just applies much darker than it looks in the pan. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you do decide to use this palette or you have this palette or you're thinking about buying this palette. It's a good one. Um, I really, really like it. But yeah, what you see is not what you get. So it's kind of a surprise every time you use it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that's the only drawback to that palette. But other than that, the formula is so good. I mean, if, if you're looking for a good neutral glam palette, that's definitely one that um, I would put on your hit list. So yep, that is the tea on that. I'm sweating. Any closing remarks? Oh shoot, I actually forgot stuff. Oh, junk. <laughs> going back to the rest of this haul i just realized i have literally all of these like five other products that i just forgot to take out of the bag okay so five final products of this entire haul and they're mascaras and one perfume so the first one is this essence lash princess mascara a while back i did a poll on instagram asking you guys what your favorite mascaras were and this one came up so so much and so yeah, I wanted to try it. I picked it up from Ulta. I think it was around $5, if not a little under $5, if I remember correctly. Um, so it's really affordable for mascaras. It has this beautiful little wand. Let's see if we can get her in focus. There she is. So yeah, I really like it. I've been using it um, pretty often. It's not my favorite, favorite mascara, but it is really good and it's really affordable. And it's one of those mascaras that I will probably pick up again because it is so affordable. And yeah, it gets the job done. It gives you really long, volumized lashes, which is always what I'm looking for. It doesn't do the best job at curling my lashes personally, but um, I do have really short, really straight lashes. So it's kind of hard to find something that does, does it all, you know? But this one's good, I like it. Next. I'm going to talk about this little Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. So this one is on the other end. This one is really expensive. I want to say this was, or maybe I got this as a gift. Actually, I think I got it as a gift. So I didn't pay money for it, but if you did, it would have been closer to like $20. It's really expensive, but it is a really, really nice mascara. I, I hate it when I fall in love with mascaras that are expensive. It's like I just shouldn't buy them, you know? But it has like this um, little chunky wand and it just does the perfect job of like curling my lashes and it holds them in a nice curl. My lashes always look really good after I use it. And the Pat McGrath Labs uh, mascara products smell just like roses and it's, it, I don't know, it's just a lovely scent. It looks so good and I kind of hate that I love it. Okay, so a product that I didn't like as much and it was kind of on the higher end of things. So I feel like you always get like a little burned, like a little hard or whatever. <laughs> it's like more expensive, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes. And so this is pretty much similar to the Fenty mascara that they came out with a while back where it has pretty much two ends. So one side, let me get my face out of this. So one side is like a flatter side that has a comb through it and the other side has the product on it. So you kind of just load up the product on the long side and then on the shorter side you comb through the mascara and it's supposed to give it a little bit extra definition and it's supposed to give you big beautiful lashes. And I, it just doesn't do it for me. I have to do my mascara for a long time whenever I use this one. So I'm not impressed by it as much as I wanted to be. Um, again, I just got the mini in this one because I almost always try and go for the mini whenever they have it, just so I can see if I like it and don't have to spend a bunch of money trying it. And I wanna say it was like about $15, which isn't horrible, but it's just kind of like, <sighs> I don't know, it hurts my soul when it doesn't work or it doesn't look good or I don't want to use it. Isn't that everybody though? Like you just kind of hate spending money whenever it's like uh, kind of more expensive. And so yeah, I would not really recommend this. The mascara that I have probably loved the most out of all the mascaras that I got during this fall haul is this uh, Kosas the Big Clean concealer, uh, concealer. Oh my God, I say that every time. Kosas the Big Clean Mascara. 
So this one has a curved brush. Um, it's like mildly curved. You can't really see it that much. It's not as dramatic as some other ones can be. And yeah, I really like that. That brush type really, really works well on my lashes the most. Um, I think it works well for shorter eyelashes. I've been a very, very big fan of this. This is supposed to be one of those products where it's like supposedly a serum and mascara in one. So it's supposed to have some good properties for your eyelashes and help them grow. But it also just gives your lashes just such a beautiful length and volume and definition. And I just, I, I love that. I'd sign me up for that for sure. And I think it's something that you definitely need to try. And I mean, I'll say it, I'll say it right now. This is my favorite product of this entire haul. So yeah, okay, well maybe. Next, uh, my final product is a perfume. And I don't buy a lot of perfumes just because I don't really, I don't know, I don't use the perfumes that I already have. I already have quite a few and I don't need to buy more. And so basically when I do, I only buy the mini ones or like the travel size ones just because like, that's the most likely situation where I would use it is if it was like in my purse and I was going somewhere and I needed it or I don't know, situations like that. Or if I were like, I don't know, I don't really go places, but that's, that's the format that I like and I like what I like. So it's this Versace Pour Femme Dylan Blue. So this is basically Versace for her. And I really, really, really like this. It's a really tiny mini one. I think I, I got it at Sephora as part of like the points that you can redeem. You can redeem it for little gifts. But yeah, I really, really like it. Um, the scent is, it's kind of um, like a warmer, clean, it's probably one of my favorite scents that I've ever smelled, honestly. It's just that good. And since I, like I said, I don't buy perfumes a lot, I do get a lot of trial size, like sample perfumes anytime I order from Sephora, which is pretty often. And some of them I'm just not impressed by that. They just don't grab me. But this one is like, oh, holy crap. Like, are you flirting with me? I, it's something that I would get again. And it, that's a big deal for me. And that's all I want to tell you. I'm just giving an update on what I smell like. I'm going to give you my final thoughts on everything. And I mean, I already kind of did, but I'm going to give you like my top tops of this whole entire haul. What I think are the best products out there for fall right now. I have five tops from this entire haul. So my, uh, no particular order, probably kind of, ooh, I don't know, all of them are my favorite. Okay, so the two of them that aren't my favorite, but are in my favorites, <laughs> is this Juvia's Place and Essence the Blush. So I really like both of these. I'm glad I picked both of them up. The blush, I like it because it's cheap and it looks good. Juvia's Place, I like it because it's cheap <laughs> and it looks good. Um, and these colors are just, they're so fall. This is a fall palette. If you're looking for one, I highly, highly, highly recommend picking this one up from Ulta. Enough said. And Kosas. So this one is also in my top favorites of this entire haul. Um, I really like this mascara. If you're looking for a good mascara that's a little bit on the higher end side, um, it wasn't terribly expensive, but it is really, really, really good. Like you definitely get your money's worth. I think it's worth every penny. I, it does wonders for my lashes. And if you have lashes that are, you know, smaller, straight, like my lashes, you may really like this. Next, top, top favorites, this Honest Beauty Blurring Loose Powder. I mean, <laughs> who am I? I don't like powders and I loved this product. So, I mean, if that tells you enough about what I, what I think about it, I mean, it's a good one. I really like it. I really, really like it. Like I said, works fantastic on just imperfections in general, things that you may be a little more insecure about where it's like fine lines or pores or, um, acne and so it's just one of those reliable products that i know will make my skin look fantastic if i use it that's that and probably my all-time favorite i'm shook i mean this is a makeup channel if you're new here but it's a hair care product like <laughs> who am i so yeah this is the love uh beauty and planet dry shampoo this is by far my favorite shampoo and i'm not an expert at this by any means so like take that with a grain of salt but i was really really impressed with this and as a person that has tried everything under the sun for her hair, I was impressed. So that rounds out my fall haul. And yeah, hopefully that gets you in the mood for some fall shopping. I know the holidays are like just 
just around the corner so yeah thanks for watching if you made it all the way through i really do appreciate everybody that watches i know it's a small youtube channel and things aren't the best the quality of the audio is not the best the picture is not the best but i really do appreciate everybody that watches all the way through it really does mean so much to me feel free to like comment and subscribe if you did actually enjoy this video it does help me out so very much i will see you at the same time same place next week Anything else I want to say? No? No? Plan? Okay, great. Um, yeah, thank you so much again, and bye. Do, do, do. Let's take everything out. It's so hot in here. My back hurts. Thinking's hard.